Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to create HTML reports in Protractor and we will also learn how to embed screenshots in the HTML reports. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting and if you have no prior knowledge on this topic do not worry I am going to go from very basic very scratch and will go up step by step. So we will learn how to generate HTML reports and how to embed screenshots on failure in the HTML report. So let's get started and I will go to Google and search for Protractor HTML reporter and here I have this Protractor HTML reporter 2 and this is a NPM module so I will go here and this is the web page. I will also copy this link and make it available here. Step number one is get protractor HTML reporter and this is the link. So here if you see we have this command here to get the protractor HTML reporter plugin. I will copy this and this is the command I will also add it in the notes and all these notes will be available in the description or the notes section of this video so you can follow it and refer it from there as well. Now I will go to my command line on Windows if you are on Mac you can go to terminal and just run this command npm i protractor html reporter 2 and here this has installed it. If you get any warnings that is fine you should not get any errors. So this is done and now the next step is we have to add data in our conf.js file in our protractor framework. So if you go to the same link and if you go a little down you can see these are the reports that we will get these kind of reports and if you still scroll down you have how to use section and here we have this using with protractor conf.js file and here we have to add this on complete function in our conf.js file. Now in case you already have this on complete function you can just add the data which is inside this function in your on complete or you can copy this entire function and go to your conf.js file and here you can go to the end so you can just go to the end give a comma and just copy this function so here let me just show you so you can see this function is here I have added the same function here on complete after copying from here and then you have to just copy this function and put it in the on prepare function so copy this and if you already have a on prepare function now I am using this conf.js file that I had already created in the earlier sessions and we have already added the HTML screenshot reporter and LDO reporter but even if you are watching this video as a standalone video do not worry you just have to add this uh, you can just put a create a function called on prepare like this you can create a function like on prepare like this and just add this data inside the function. In my case I already have it so I will just add it inside the on prepare function like this and I will select everything and right click and say format selection and this is done. So you can see I have now this on complete function which is a new function and I have also added the this data in my on prepare function and that's it. Uh, after you have added this step number 3 will be run conf.js and check reports generated so I will go to my terminal on visual studio code you can also go to your command line so I will go to new terminal and here I will just say protractor and I will run my conf.js file which is inside the conf folder. So I will run this and let us see the output. 
so this is running our test on super calculator application which is our angular js application and this is done and you can see everything is passed and if you see here we have got two files one is the xml file and the other one is the html file i can go to my project folder on my system this is my project folder protractor demo if i go inside you can see these are the files i will open the html file here and you can see this is my html i have a single test case and it has passed this is the browser and the platform and this is the test case and everything is passed it shows me the total time that is five seconds and now in case i have any failure let us see how to have a failure and then we will also see screenshots for failure so i will go to my uh, tests and i will go to this calculator.js this is the test we are running and i will just copy this test and paste it again so that i have two test cases i'll copy this and paste it again and i will also make some mistake here so let me say i say click go one which is which function is not existing so this time this should fail and also to get a screenshot uh, if you go scroll down on the same page we have this section that you can add to get a screenshot and this you can add in the same on prepare function so this is the on prepare function i'll copy this and go to my conf.js file and in the on prepare function this i had added earlier now after this i will add this data all right and i will save this and i also have a failure a fail test case now uh, one test case will fail so i will run this again and let us see what happens this time and we will then verify our report so this was the first test and yes the second test should have failed because the function was not existing itself so if i go and check the reports now here you can see we have got one failed and one passed and the total duration is here and environment and test suite and this is the pass test and the failed test case you can see i have got a screenshot here so it also takes a screenshot on failure and this is how you can use html reports and also get screenshots on failure in your protractor framework i hope this session was very useful for you thank you so much for watching